Oh, hello there, everybody. Welcome back to more Planet Zoo. This is the official start of the Planet Zoo series, which I know you're saying, Tyler, why say welcome back? If it's the start, it's because we played the beta. Um, and we did two episodes, three episodes on the beta. Uh, now, the game is fully launched. It's awesome. Um, and the game is feeling great, to be honest with you. They fixed a lot of the performance issues, uh, fixed some of the other bugs that were kind of inherent in the game, which is what the beta was entirely for. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, I'm going to tell you right now, the game is pretty intensive uh, on your PC. Um, I don't get the, the hitches or lag in the game while I'm playing anymore. But what I do get is the recording sometimes has uh, some hitches and some lag. And I actually, I had, I had started to record. Let's let's load into uh, my zoo here, the Alexa Zoo. What a, what a zoo, to be honest with you. Uh, I'll, I'll explain everything going on in here in a second. There, there's a lot to unpack. Um, not really in the zoo. There, there's not much in here at all. Um, but you're going to wonder why I started a zoo off camera um without any of you seeing and the reason is because i kind of had a failed recording um of the game i started to record and it it was just a laggy mess and i didn't realize until part way through um so we have some stuff going on uh, i know that you don't get to experience the initial you know loading in and me messing around in a zoo uh, that you maybe wanted me to, but we're still going to do that, okay? We're still going to do that. So those that don't know what Planet Zoo is, this is a management-style game. Very, very similar uh, to Planet Coaster, which uh, we played on the channel a while back. We played it primarily on stream, but it's making a zoo. Uh, I played Zoo Tycoon a lot as a kid. This is a game that I, I've i been waiting for, you know, a, a modern zoo game for such a long time. Uh, so I'm amped to get into this. This is our zoo right now. Um, pretty bare bones. I mean, there's nothing here uh, is basically what I'm getting at. This is kind of the intro starting area. I want to have some like shops, some food related stands kind of along the sides here. Some kind of greenery statue type thing in the middle. And then it kind of starts to branch off into different areas. This is going to be kind of Africa and more Savannah Africa this way, uh, leading into rainforesty Africa that way. Uh, and then we'll figure out what these sides are. You know, you can have some North America, you can have some, uh, some Asia, you could have a tundra area maybe uh there's not a ton of tundra animals but you can make it work here's all of the animals in the game uh that are at our disposal to work with i'm just gonna do a slow scroll you can pause and look at them if you want to um some animals are much more expensive than others some are pretty cheap uh i'm i'll show you how animal trading works in the game because right now i am playing Obviously single player in my own zoo, but I'm actually playing online right now, which is how fascinating the franchise mode of this game actually is. So animal trading is done across all people playing Planet Zoo. Uh, they will breed animals, and then if you release them, they go up into the animal market that then you can buy other people's animals, uh, put them into your zoo, and you know, inherently have this animal trading market, which is a really cool idea. Um, I, I don't know how well it's going to work uh, late term because I feel like prices are just going to get either really inflated or really underflated. Underflated? Uh, not a word. Look, I'm an economics minor. This is something that I should not, uh, should not be saying. But what we do have the benefit of here is I was able to grab some animals on the cheap early on. Um, basically as soon as I loaded in, I went, these are what I'm going to want. Uh, so let me just snag them. I have to figure out where the hell they actually are. Um, animal storage. Here we go. So I have a couple of animals that I snagged for very, very cheap. Uh, we started with 40,000 money. Uh, everything you see here, including the animals I did for 8k, which I thought was a total steal to be honest. Uh, we got two warthogs, male and female. That's the important part. Two flamingos, male and female, a zebra, and a uh, Tommy's gazelle. We're going to want to get another zebra, another Tommy's gazelle, male of both. But for right now, 
really, if we have two exhibits before we open up the zoo, I think we're in business, to be honest. Uh, so I want to actually start today. I want to make this flamingo exhibit. Um, I have to remember how... So yeah, this is what I bought them for. So total combined for all the animals was under 500. Um, at least for these guys. Pretty good, to be honest with you. Uh, I believe the... The Warthogs I used conservation credits for, which you get those by uh, releasing animals to the wild. Um, I, I don't know everything quite yet, um, but we'll get there. You know, we'll get there. So the Flamingo. Can I see things about you? I can. Okay. So you're going to want a, like, tropical aquatic biome. Uh doesn't benefit from sharing spaces with other species so that's good to know as well things get so in depth dude uh like literally so in depth it's insane so let, let's make a little place for our uh our flamingos here um this is a guest gate so they, the, the, we could have the guests walk in we probably don't want that I think wood logs are gonna look uh, the best. I, I like the wood logs a lot in in the zoo. I don't know how does how does that look? That looks terrible. I mean, we definitely don't want a uh, corrugated fence. I think the wood logs look awesome. Uh, let's let's start with those and just make ourselves a nice little uh, nice little place here. We we could do. It's probably... We're, we're going to be able to make this low enough. Flamingos ain't jumping out of a cage. Um, we can make this low enough that the flamingos are not going to go buck wild. I wish I knew how to curve the fence. Um, I think that the... Yeah, the glass can curve, but the wood cannot curve. Um, this is an invisible fence. You know what? We can make that work. Honestly, we can make that work. Uh, so invisible fence along the backside here. Because this is going to be... So can I... Switch to... Wait, where the heck... Where did the invisible fence go? You know what? The glass fence will do just fine. I, I want it to be able to curve on this backside. Um... Just to make sure that this is as good as possible. We're going to fill this with rocks anyway. Um, which is why I'm so not concerned about this. Um, it's going to come right down like this. Probably even one more here. And then we'll just connect it back up. Just like that. Come on. Ju just like that. That's totally fine. And you're going, Tyler, a uh, little bit confused right now. Uh, what you're talking about with rocks. You must clearly be new here. Uh, because your boy is obsessed with rocks. Um, they're just the greatest things of all time. So first of all, um, let's let's actually get our flamingos into the exhibit. This is not what I want to do. I want to go back to uh, zoo. Zoo. I. You know what? Let's let's do it a different way. Okay. I'm still learning all of the controls and various things that you need to survive here uh open up habitat trading greater flamingo we're gonna move them where are we moving them we're moving them to here invalid destination is because i don't think we have a habitat gate and that is required we're gonna have it on the back end like right there except not not where the guy is going into it oh my god dude not where the guy's going into it from the inside the path you crazy madman uh just like this now we should be able to come to here animals and uh from our trade center bring our animals in so flamingo move that bad boy to habitat three and then while you're at it flamingo move that guy to habitat three that should be both of them Right? You're you're in route to Habitat 3. Uh, let's speed up time and get them delivered there real quick. And I promise you, I, I'm looking at the screen and I'm like, it's, it's a little laggy on the recording. Um, if I don't have any staff members in our zoo, 
that that is going to make it an issue to deliver these animals to it um if it's a little bit laggy don't worry because i'll i'll work on it um just just stay with me for the sake of uh the series we'll get these bugs figured out life will be fine where are you going dude you need to deliver where are you going are you stupid you're wandering there's animals to deliver he can't get to the road fair enough okay uh staff path please make this not a million with and then just j just get a nice staff path over to here we'll work on making that pretty okay oh he's running He's got a flamingo and he's running. There we have an inspector arriving in 16 months. Uh, please, just put the flamingo in there. This is a huge exhibit for flamingos, man. Oh my god. I just realized how massive this is. We don't probably want this to be this big. Do we? You know what? We do. It'll be fine. We're going to make it very rocky and great. And it's going to be... It's going to be fantastic. So we he wants more grass short, but significantly more soil. Let's get soil going in here. Now, he's going to want more grass short now. He also wants more rock, which is surprising to me, and sand. Okay, get, get, get a little bit of grass short back in here. He's also going to want water. Yeah, like a lot of water. Okay, that's good. Rock? He wants more rock, man. Okay, so let's... We're obviously going to want... A little bit of elevated land. Followed by a big area for water for these guys. So just sculpt the land... To work. Grab the, uh, grab the water. Calm water. Put it up to there. All of a sudden, these guys are going to be happy as can be, right? How, how is your water uh, water preferences? They're fantastic. He couldn't be happier. Okay. Does this look good? I mean, it's a little wonky on the front end here, but I don't think that's necessarily an issue. Can we bring the fence down a little bit as well? Um, let's, let's select the entire thing. And then... Do me a favor and bring you down. Oh, crap. I just deleted the entire thing. I mean, we, we could... Well... I don't know. Is it too high? First of all. I feel like flamingos are not exactly... Um, prone to jumping out and leaving. <laughs> like, it's just a flamingo. But... It's all good, I guess. Um, so plants, he, he likes a little bit of coverage. So obviously we're going to want to get a little bit of coverage. Uh, plus just trees look nice. So you like trees aquatic. Let's, uh, so aquatic, tropical, temperate, and grassland. And we do not need the planet zoo theme on. Oh my God. Look at all this dude. So water lilies. They look really nice. They're not floating, right? They ain't floating. Okay. So the water lilies are nice. Dude, I want to make like a little little island in the middle. Can we can we actually, you know what? Go back to the terrain tool. Also, can we make it daytime? Like is that too much to ask for? This guy's going to deliver the other flamingo here soon. Daytime's coming. I just want to be able to see, man. I want to be able to see. This flamingo probably freaking hates me, man. But, uh, beside the point, just make it day. Sun, sun's coming up. I just want you guys to be able to see. The inspector's coming in 14 months. Incredibly, he just hopped over the fence. Uh, okay, well big issues immediately um find it and call a vet here's a small issue okay here's a small issue it's called i don't have a vet 
So, not really sure what's going to go on here. This is Untitled Goose Game. Right here. So, how, how do you handle this, huh? The inspector's coming in 13 months. I have a flamingo just sitting out in the open. Never mind, he's been tranquilized, and he's on his way home. Okay, so, gonna hit you with a, a quick one. It's called, probably gonna need to have the barrier a little bit higher. Um, and then, how about we just, no, please go back to being wood. And how about you just hit it with, like, a little bit of this becomes glass. And all of a sudden, you know, it, the life is but a dream, right? They ain't escaping. At least that's what we're going to say. So we are paused. Uh, look, what could go wrong, right? And then you're going to terrain. It's just going to take some time for me to get used to the, uh, oh, what the hell is going on there? Can I get some smooth surface around here, please? A little bit of smoothing. Okay. And then you're going to do a little bit of... Li little. You know what? Get rid of the water. That's the issue. I don't know how to get rid of the water. I have no idea how to get rid of the water. Remove water. I mean, this seems... Seems like normally that would remove water from the scenario. Maybe I'm crazy, though. Remove water. Hey, okay. You just got to click a lot. Okay. Smooth down that. And then small island in the middle. Where our flamingos will enjoy standing. Okay. Maybe we can increase the intensity a little bit. Bring it up enough. Small enough island in the middle. All of a sudden, dude. Feeling good. About this. Can I bring... Yeah, dude. I'm loving this. Okay, now bring the terrain up. Okay, re remove water. Remove water. Okay. Bring the terrain up. No, do not do whatever that was, though. It's going to be like, uh, size a little bit up. Okay. Down a little bit. The terrain tool. Look, it never said it'd be easy, right? Oh, my Lord. Okay. Shrink that a little bit. It is a disaster. And the inspector is on his way. Okay. I mean, that's now just a big old rock in the middle. I mean, it, I can't deny, it's a cool, like, this flattening tool is sick, to be honest with you. Um, but we're, we're looking to, look, look at how beautiful this looks. We're, we're looking to make an island here, not, also, like, it, it, we, we kind of want, we, we, we don't want this to be this deep, like, they're flamingos, they're not freaking fish, you know? So we don't exactly want the world's deepest uh, pool of water here. So it's going to be something like that. Shrink the size. And all of a sudden they have a nice platform here to go on in the middle. And that's just going to be something like smooth it out. And then we just need the... Yeah, okay. Well, now we're cooking with gas. Look at that. That's an island, dude. Does it look good? Look, I mean, it's beside the point. Looking good and feeling good are two very different things. Now, are those flamingos ever going to be able to get on that? <laughs> That's another question that we don't have answers to quite yet. But, uh... It'll be fine. Is my flamingo boy back in here yet? No, he's on his way. I mean, at least we're paying a bunch of staff to do um, freaking nothing. Feels good, right? Feels real good. Okay. Uh, well, back to reality, right? 
Uh, let's get our lily pads back in. Just want to make sure those are uh, in the best place possible. Some right there. Get some right there. Some over here. Beautiful. Then you're looking for like some bird's nest ferns. I don't know why they're starting so damn low in the ground, but some nice ferns over here. You're going to want a tree. Yo, look at these. These are kind of cool. Like little, little stumpy boys. We, we want something. Yo, look at these moss covered rocks. Actually, they're just, they're just moss. Man, that is just moss. It's actually kind of disturbing when you think about it. That is just moss. Okay. So a common ash tree. That looks great. Something like that, except I don't know why I put it right on top of the thing that I had before. Let's put that in the middle. Like there. And we're going to want another one of those. Probably back there. Now the back wall of this is going to just be rocks. Um... So you like savanna rocks, but you're fine with temperate rocks. That's like music to my ears, flamingos. Because guess what? Your boy likes rocks too. And they're going to make for uh, some delicious enclosure. Now I know what you're going. You're going, Tyler. Your rocks are all looking the same. That That's when you shake it up a little bit. You give some... Kids can climb on this one. Kids love climbing on things, right? Just put them in. You're gonna have... It's inevitable in Planet Zoo slash Coaster. You're gonna have floating crap around the place. Um, you just gotta accept it. So all of a sudden, th these are looking way better. And nice and natural. You put some rocks on top. You rotate them so that they don't look the same as the one you just placed. And the back of this is looking fantastic. Give me a flat boy. He's going to go right on top of there. Like that. You could even get another one to go like... These are tropical rocks. Never mind. Could get another one to go on top. How about like... That seems a bit excessive. Those are like huge. Okay. Just a little chilling on top oh yeah oh look, look at this dude it looks fantastic uh then you bring in this and one of those now there is a legitimate chance that the flamingo could climb on top of these rocks and escape from the zoo i am banking on our flamingos being very kind flamingos and not trying to escape famous last words but um i mean that'd be very mean for them to do that this looks fine right now uh, i am trying to figure out if we want to have some flat ones on top i mean i think that that looks good however it also looks a little bit terrible climbing rock pillar i mean i kind of like these just like sitting around Kind of like here, one over here. You have a rock over here that then has a rock on top of that rock. You got some in the water as well. Yo, the water rocks. That's where things start to pop off is when you got rocks in the water. This is looking like a real nice exhibit, man. Uh, however, call me crazy. One, I mean, we need to fill all of this with rocks. These are also 30 a pop. I'm spending so much money on rocks, man. Like, it's an absurd amount of money. But it's for the sake of things looking nice. So I don't care. Uh, I actually think you want to bring these too high around. I mean, we, we want these guys. They're birds, right? Even though they're, you know, not exactly flying birds. We don't want them escaping. So we do 
big old rock background. And nothing gets in. And nothing gets out. How does that look? It looks copy and pasted. Thanks for asking. Okay. You're gonna wanna... You're gonna wanna go in and fix. Um, like, I don't know, all of it, more or less. Um, it, it is a little... Look, we could be here all day with the rocks, man. Th this is why I, I get scared about my planet zooing. Also, the entire game just froze. So I'm not really sure what to make of that. Apparently, I have provided too many rocks to the game. Hey, Planet Zoo. I know the music is still, still going. But the game itself... Boy, the game is frozen. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, everybody. Uh, I, 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 I took the time that the game unwillingly crashed, uh, and I fixed the rocks. And you know what? They look good. <laughs> there is a hole over here, uh, so let's let's fill that hole. Um, fill that hole. Move that bus. There we go. And uh, something like that. That'll work just fine. I'm not gonna get too bent out of shape, okay? I want it to look beautiful. Don't get me wrong, but. It looks fine, dude. It looks fine. Um, are you happy with things? You still need hard shelter. Uh, and that is why I kept this area open. Uh, because I want to put in a shelter here in a way that blocks this... Uh, I'm going to call it the dev door. Some Mario Maker up in here. Uh, we're going to block the dev door from, from the public eyes. Um, by basically making a place for these guys to live in that then goes um kind of in this back area so we're going to essentially make a home for these guys kind of a hard shelter for them to go to when it's raining or whatever um that then also shields off this back door and i think that this looks awesome uh you see this in zoos a lot kind of uh we're, we're gonna call it kind of because it's not exactly like this but you kind of see them try to hide the zookeepers from the zoo um and that is kind of exactly what i'm doing so we're gonna make it where there's you know they kind of have some privacy coming in here and this is just a nice shelter for them to be under and they will notice this as a shelter that's that's the awesome part is they will actually see this as a uh as a place that they can go to get away from like the sun or things like that uh they will acknowledge this and they will go here to sleep um so basically what i'm saying is is sick as hell Enjoy my terrible rock cave and uh, Yeah, but it looks it looks great like you can't even deny it already looks good Sort of just just say yes to all the questions that I ask you um, Slash comments that I I bring it looks fine, right? I mean it looks pretty bad, but um we can make it look a little bit better by just making it a little bit rockier out front. You know, you do a little... This is such a small boy. Look at how small this little cute rock is. You stack him on top of that one. All of a sudden, you got the, the rock cave of the century. This guy's a little bit too big for what we're doing. This guy actually is a sick rock. I mean, that's a great rock. Maybe that maybe they'll like go onto that rock and then jump out. It'd be incredible if they did. Um, I mean, that's not me hoping they do, because that would actually complicate my life more. But it would be cool if they did. Uh, we're just gonna put it at that. This is just like yeah, we we had some of these already around. Um, the the game did get reset a little bit because I had to force crash it. So things might not look identical to how they did before, um, but that's okay. It, it, they look fine, right? I mean, this place is looking fantastic, 
and I have zero issues with how it looks. Tamarind tree? I don't think so. Let's refilter um, by... I mean, we want, like... I guess temperate is better for these guys. Ivy? Interesting. Ivy pillar. I mean, ivy would be sick in here, but... Just not sure it's what we're looking for. Could probably put one of those in the back. A holly tree. It looks a little weird in here, to, to be blunt. Sugar maple, it looks very weird in here. You're, you're, you're trying to do a, a kind of wetlands thing in here. And that is not wetlandsy enough. Now, this guy... I mean, it's wetlandsy enough. Th does this look okay? I think we just need more, like, plants around. Just some, like, standard-ass plants. It's also difficult to see exactly where you're moving stuff. But that's okay. Yo, look at these, though. Those look awesome. All right, we, we can put those around near the water. Those look really good. I'm hoping this is, like, not too much cover for flamingos. Because I know that they, they like some cover, but too much, they're going to be a little unhappy. So, I don't want to overwhelm them. But, it looks awesome to me. Okay, so flamingo, what's going on, dude? What's going on? Plant type and coverage is inappropriate. Oh my god. I have borked everything. So, is that this? Yeah. So that you don't want. A lot of these you just don't want. Um, the Amazon water lilies you don't want. I thought you were fine with tropical, flamingo. Why you change your mind now, son of a gun? Now he's fine with it, although we still have this bad boy. Which is right here. Get out of here. You don't want broken trees? I'll get rid of your broken freaking trees. Are you happy now, stupid? Damn flamingo is going to make me lose my life. Uh, so grass long. He actually needs more grass long. Okay. I mean, fair enough. Let, let's get you more grass long, buddy. Oh my god. You need way more grass long. Now you need more soil and rock. It's all over. The water counts for grass. Oh, he has too much grass long. Oh crap. Now we need grass short. Okay. So you know what? Start by grass shorting this place. Now you got too much grass short, but that's okay. Now soil it. Soil it. Soil it. Fantastic. Soil has been been done. Now rocky. You got a rocky area up front. You got a rocky area where, you know, there's rocks. That seems incredibly intelligent to me. It's rocky where there's rocks. And dude, all of a sudden, very happy, very happy man. So hard shelter space, you still not happy with the hard shelter space. And coverage, you actually got too much. So let's, let's yeet this tree. You really don't need that tree. He was providing too much coverage. You really don't need two of these reeds. You don't need all of those. I find it so weird that animals don't like plants, man. I feel like animals love plants all the time. Are you happy? There's still too much coverage. You're a flamingo. Get over yourself, buddy. Are you fine now? You still hate your coverage. I'm going to be real with you. I hate you, Flamingo. So, shelter space is currently insufficient. What is wrong with this? Do, do you see anything wrong with this? Because I don't. I think it looks fine. But I understand if you don't like it. And that's why I'm going to present to you the new and improved... There it is. New and also improved. Um, no, I think people said you have to make it... Um, 
You have to make it like walled off properly in the back. So we're we're gonna we're gonna try to do this. I am uh I'm gonna go so far as to say I'm struggling with this. But that's okay. I I think we're doing great, to be honest with you. Um it's it's a journey to get us to where we need to be. This advanced move is bringing me back to my 3D modeling days. That's where uh, I modeled for video games. I was very hot back in the day. All right, rotate, translate, bring it, whoa. Bring it in, it'll work good enough. I don't know, dude, if I was a flamingo, which is a phrase that I pretty much never thought I'd say on this channel. If I was a flamingo, this would be pretty banging, is my opinion. Uh, this would be the best shelter you've ever seen in your freaking life. I think it looks fantastic. But I understand if these damn flamingos don't like what I'm giving them. Because I hate everything that I give myself as well. Uh, just cancel that. So you're really not happy with this shelter. What if I, like, let you become... He loves it. Oh, let's go. We did it. We did it. The inspector's arriving in 12 months. You hate to see it. Okay. Um, I do think that as soon as we put the food in for this guy, um, that is going to be a day on these. I'm trying to figure out why the other flamingo does not want to... Does not want to go uh, into there. Please, zookeeper, bring me my flam. It's a word I never thought I'd say either. Uh, it means flamingo. You're just not. You're just not used to the the fantastic uh, phrasing yet. Where is flamingo? Greater flamingo. We did it. Food bowl small. A food bowl large. That sounds nicer. Food bowl going to go right out front here. Right out front. Water bowl. You can have one over there. This water pipe is going to go over here. I mean, we treat our flamingos nice at this zoo. Another little watering. Uh, I mean, that is straight up floating. It's the most magical dish you've ever seen, dude. Okay, you ready? You ready? This is... I can't even... There we go. It's fine. I think it looks great. Honestly. Uh, where'd my flamingo go? There he is. Friend, what else you want? You're like totally amped right now. You need some enrichment? Oh, I'll enrich you. You want enrichment? You're, you're due for some enrichment. So this guy likes heaters and coolers. Make up your damn mind, buddy. Uh, and he likes some bedding. I can provide you bedding. You want to take a nap inside of that uh, shelter over there? Be my guest, my dude. Be my guest. You don't have any enrichment items, Flamingo. I don't know what temperature you want it to be. Which creates a lot of issues, buddy. Um... Has no climbing area preference. I mean, that's freaking good, to be honest, you stupid. Uh, because I don't get anything either. I will say this, though. You're getting renamed. Hamid, you are now uh, Pinky. Pinky the Flamingo. Please, do not patronize me. Name this damn Flamingo. Pinky? And then guess what, man? I deliver my other one, because I'm going to tell you exactly who this guy's going to be. Deliver my flamingo. I dare you. Oh, he's coming. It's pouring rain. Boy, that's going to look real good on the recording that's probably already laggy. Aw, oh, crap, dude. Did I shut down my zoo? Are those... No. That is not a person coming in. Zoo's been closed for a very long time. I understand. Look, I get it. Here's my other flam. Look at how cute he is, dude. 
Aaliyah, you are now Binky. And we are going to name all of our flamingos after Pac-Man ghosts. This guy is friggin' like running into the rocks over here. Go in the water, stupid. That's the whole point, is to go into the water. I know you're in Richmond. You don't like the plants. You know what? I got you, buddy. I don't like the plants either. You still got too much coverage. What What do you want from me, Flamingo? In all seriousness, you, you got an issue that you want to take up with me? Like, you, you really hate having an extra tree inside of this exhibit. Like, you're telling me if I got rid of that, that would make you just the happiest son of a gun on planet Earth? If you want to be like that, you can be like that. What looks prettier? Tree in the middle? I mean, the flamingos just standing in the middle sounds really, really nice, actually. Um, maybe you, in fact, move this bowl into the middle. Probably not floating in the air, but something like that. Dude, there is a 0% chance these flamingos can climb onto this. Like, literally no way in human history can they ever do that. Hold up, hold up, hold up. We are way over on time today. But you have to understand that this weird rock that I have formed in the middle, they're never getting here. And the whole point was for them to get here. Which means, guess what? It's time to remove water. Which, you know... That's gone well in the past. I, I'm i not sure how exactly you remove the water. I, I'm clicking all over, man. Please? Do, do we have to be in uh, real time? Well, that did it, so time to pause. Okay, this got to get flattened, man. Not super flattened, but flattened enough. It's going to be like, you know... Maybe just if we smooth it a lot. Are you ready? Get nice and smooth. Just smooth everything. Dude, I have spent like $10,000 on flamingos. Can we talk about that? That does not bode well for the future of our zoo. Smooth. We can even bring it up a little bit. Is that too much? It's a little messy. But I think it's going to be good. Bring in the water. They even have a little... No. I don't want them to have a little platform. Bring the intensity down. No, that is far too low. And by intensity, I meant size. Now. Water. That looks better. It's still pretty steep. <laughs> I don't know how. Dude, a waterfall right here would look sick. Is there a way to make a waterfall? I get sidetracked very quickly. Common water lilies. Are you going to get pissed at me if I place these? You dang, uh... Are, are you going to just, like, freak out? And we're right at your, uh... Your loading zone. I don't know, man. I, I think it's fine. If they never go in the middle, you know what? Life freaking goes on. Okay? Uh, so we've done it. It's a total storm. That's life. Next episode, let's get, um... Just some nice areas for guests to go to. Um, and then probably try to finish up this, which is going to be a warthog exhibit. Um, once again, just absolutely massive for warthogs, but I don't care. This shrunk down and is reasonable for flamingos. Uh, the rocks kind of help with that. And we're going to be doing the same thing with rocks in this one, because your boy is obsessed with rocks. Um, thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. You have a good one. Goodbye.